five scary ghost videos you probably shouldn't watch before you go to sleep. The Entity The following few videos belong to a Mexican man who runs a TikTok page named Joshua Luke. The main focus of the page is the man's two-year-old son, Joshua Luke. The man and his wife appear to run and maybe even own a small convenience store to which their house is attached to. Their TikTok page was only started in September of this year and to start with, it didn't grab too much attention. That was until the small family started to capture some very odd and creepy things on camera. It all started one day when their two-year-old son, Joshua Luke, claimed that he had just seen another young child running through their house. Intrigued by this, the father had the idea of doing a walkthrough of both the store and the house with the reality ripple effect on. Which, if you didn't already know, is a filter on TikTok that supposedly shows spirits or things that move. Anyway, the man's viewers noticed that each time he would point the camera in the direction of one of the computer chairs, it would light up. Pero yo no he checado nada raro. Bueno, si en la tienda sí se caen cosas. O, o cuando bajamos para abrir la tienda, vemos que hay cosas tiradas. Lo único raro que yo he encontrado es eso. Ahorita. Y vean, estuvieron ahí. Aquí, la silla. Y últimamente el niño, pues llora, o sea, va corriendo. Como pueden ver, aquí no hay nada. De hecho, hay una escuela aquí enfrente. Just one day after this was recorded, the family was awoken at four in the morning by sounds coming from the store. The father, of course, went out to check and recorded this. Buenas amigos, bajé porque empezamos a escuchar ruidos y vine a dar una vuelta. Tenía miedo de que estuvieran abriendo la tienda o algo así, pero no. Vean. Many people thought that this could have easily been an intruder or another person in the room to cause the chair to move like that. However, the father checked their security footage and noticed that there was more to it than that. Amigos de TikTok, no había subido video porque estaba esperando que viniera el padre. Ya vino y hizo lo suyo, tanto en la tienda como en la casa. La situación, la verdad, en lugar de mejorar, ha empeorado. La verdad, está peor. Como ustedes me pidieron, puse a grabar toda la noche. Ese mismo día, mi esposa y yo escuchamos ruidos en la madrugada. Bajamos a ver qué era. Nos pusimos a grabar y los celulares de la nada se apagaron teniendo pila. Ya no los pudimos echar a andar, los dejamos cargando y hasta el día siguiente. Una vez que me puse a checar los videos me di cuenta que en mi celular el video de cuando bajamos no se grabó, pero el de ella sí. La verdad se ve algo sumamente impactante. Pero eso está empeorando porque ahora mi hija dice que es una señora. Mi hijo sigue igual o peor de nervioso y mi esposa comenta que también ve una silueta de una mujer. Entonces ya no sé qué hacer. Ya, esperemos que todo salga bien. After seeing all of this on camera, the mother and father decided to sleep in their children's room to comfort them. But, unfortunately, whatever occupies their house had other plans, because what happened next gave them nightmares for days. Hicimos grabar ahorita porque se está escuchando algo en el closet. Dios mío, ¿qué es eso? ¿Hay alguien ahí? ¿Quieres algo? ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? No inventes, ¿qué es eso? Que se, se abrió, se abrió, se abrió, se abrió, se abrió, se abrió. Espérate, cálmate, cálmate, cálmate. ¿Hay alguien ahí? ¿Te podemos ayudar? ¿Necesitas algo? Dinos, dinos. ¡Sí, se asomó alguien! ¡Alúzame, alúzame, alúzame! ¡Espera! ¡Espérate, alúzame! No hay nada, mira, no hay nada, no hay nada. No sé, no sé. ¿Sabes qué? ¿Sabes qué? Vamos con los niños. Vamos con los niños, yo creo, mira. Aquí no hay nada. De este lado tampoco hay nada. Aquí tampoco. Vámonos con los niños, vente.
The family was terrified after seeing this and have since moved to their family's place. The father, however, continues to stay and document the strange goings on within both the store and the house. As or if things progress or get worse, I'll make sure to do an update video in the coming weeks. In the meantime, however, you can always follow the family yourself. Their TikTok username is Joshua Luke. Into Thin Air This next video was caught on camera by a man simply recording his conversation with co-workers at a branch at the Credit Bank in BCP in the Peruvian capital of Lima. It's once again featured on many, many channels, but I wanted to go through it yet again to see what you guys thought of it. The video starts off with the cameraman standing opposite a seated female colleague and male leaning on a desk. When all of a sudden what appears to be a black figure or a shadow of a shorter person, perhaps a child, runs past them at some speed and then vanishes into thin air. Take a look at this. <laughs> The man holding the camera says out loud to his co-workers, I have just seen a girl crossing there, the crying girl. Now, the crying girl, if you were wondering, is an urban legend known as the weeping woman, a spectre in Latin America, also known locally as Yorona. His colleagues obviously think he's joking around because they simply ask, really? The cameraman then walks around the corner to where he saw the shadow, but there is nothing there. I saw this video a couple of years ago and have always wondered how they would fake something like this. Could all of this be real? Perhaps? What do you think? Olivier House Hotel Mindseed TV is a YouTube channel dedicated towards exploring haunted locations in attempts to make contact with the dead and examining cursed items and exploring the dark web. And I have to say, their content is some of the best within the paranormal niche, and their production quality is second to none. Primarily, their videos are made up of two guys, Tanner and Casey, who explore and or investigate buildings that others typically wouldn't want to. In this video of theirs, they travel to the Olivier House Hotel in New Orleans, which is well known in the area to be a super active, haunted location, and supposedly haunted by a former Confederate soldier, and a woman who has been seen multiple times wearing an atabellum style dress thought to be from Civil War times. It's also rumoured that a number of specific rooms are said to be haunted as well. For this one night of ghost hunting, Tanner and Casey booked two of the most haunted rooms in the hotel. The first one of which didn't have any activity, so the guys moved on to the second room. This next room yielded the first little bit of activity. This happened during their Ouija board session. Are you upset that people use this as a hotel now? Uh, when this used to be your home? Said or not, but that was definitely uh, something. Is it going? Oh. Don't let go. As we started getting movement on the Ouija board, pitchfork shifted just slightly. It wasn't a couple of candles and a pitchfork moving slightly that piqued my interest in this video. It's what happened once Tanner and Casey decided to go to sleep. Before hitting the hay for the night, they set up multiple cameras throughout both rooms they booked for the night. What their team finds the next day is creepy to say the least. was asleep there was a person or a figure outside of my room and it looked like they were kind of looking in and the shadow of whoever was outside my room it looked like a woman's hat to me almost like an old like French outfit or something it's 
freaky. Not only the guys at Mindsea TV, but their viewers as well believe that a shadow-like figure can be seen at Casey's bedroom door in the early hours of the morning. Not only this, but it appears that a door in Tanner's room closes by itself sometime during the night, despite there being no apparent wind draft. So, could this shadow-like figure be the supposed Civil War time woman with the old school dress and hat entering Casey's room, or simply just a regular person or staff member of the hotel? You decide. Shadow Figure The G-Team Paranormal Investigators are a team of investigators out of Spring Hill, Florida. As a team, they typically explore supposedly haunted inns, hotels, houses, and even cemeteries. And the video I'm about to show you is no different. In this clip, Patty travels out to a very secluded cemetery that lays at the end of a really long, dark dirt road, surrounded by pine trees. Patty only decided to drive out to the Georgia graveyard after being told about it by a friend, Stacy, who also has her own YouTube channel named Misguided Road Trips. Stacy visited the cemetery once before and swears that she and some friends were chased out of the area by a black figure. Intrigued by this, Patty wanted to go out and explore this very location where Stacy once got the fright of her life. Patty ultimately ends up having one of the scariest nights of her life because after about 10 minutes of exploring the cemetery, they come across this. I keep hearing something behind me. This is really scary, guys. I don't get scared very often. What the hell is that? What is that? Is there something right there? What is that? I don't know. It looks like a dark figure. Am I seeing things? Uh, it's Stacy, am I seeing things? Uh, what is that? Creeped out by this and unable to identify just what this black mass was, Patty and Stacy decide to get out of there and start to run back to their car. However, it seems as if whatever they saw might have wanted them to stay a while. Because as they're heading back to the vehicle, something unexpected happens. I just moved. Oh my god, my heart is about to beat out of my chest. I think we need to go. Oh my god, let's go. I want to get out of here. I, I don't feel right. I don't feel right. Oh my god. Stacy, what the fuck was that? Huh? What? Oh my god. Oh my god, you scared the shit out of me. Oh my god. Sorry. Oh my god. Did something touch you? Yes, something touched me. It's like it tagged on my shirt, pulling me back. It seems as if whatever the black mass was that they both saw may not have been happy with both of them being there, because just as Stacy explains that she felt touched by something, Patty then also gets attacked. There's something over there, Stacy. Oh my god. I want to leave. I want to go too. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just, what the? Just push me down! Stacy! I don't know. Stacy, something on. just pushed me down. Oh, my God. Both women describe this night as one of the scariest of their lives and swear that all of this was 100% real. And by the look of their comments, their viewers seem to believe what they saw was the real deal. But what do you think of this particular video? Real or was it staged? Remember, this video belongs to the G-Team Paranormal YouTube channel, so if you'd like to watch the whole thing, switch on over to their page to watch what else happens during their night out. Ghostly Travelers This next video wasn't recorded by what you would call a ghost hunter, you may have seen it before. It was recorded by a pilot who happened to capture the eerie footage of what many people believe to be a group of ghostly figures exiting a non-existent plane in the middle of the night. 
In early August of 2017, the following video made the rounds after a pilot, among other freaked out passengers, noticed people exiting a nearby air bridge. The video filmed at night appears to show passengers towing their luggage through a connecting bridge reportedly towards the terminal of Phuket International Airport in southern Thailand. But the air bridge doesn't appear to be connected to any plane, which left viewers baffled as to where all of the passengers were coming from. Some viewers of this video believed that the passengers exiting the plane don't even look like they're walking, but more like gliding up and across the air bridge. Other viewers think that some of the people walking out of the non-existent plane are even semi-transparent. Some have even gone as far as suggesting that these people could be the spirits of the missing Malaysia Airline Flight 370. But that's pretty far-fetched. What do you guys think? Could this be real or simply just an optical illusion of sorts? That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe and turn on all notifications.